Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I'm gonna head back to the swamp in just a second, but before that, I'm gonna give the pyromancy tome to this guy. I tried to give it to this guy over here, but he's a sorcerer. I totally forgot that I actually already have a pyromancer. Ah, there you I am. <laughs> yes, here we are. It's been long indeed. With this, I can teach you more sophisticated pyromancies. Splendid. I can boast I am your tutor a little longer. <laughs> Do not think what is a teacher. <laughs> also, when I went to talk with him again, he gave me a new emote. He gave me welcome. Okay, back to the swamp. Ditching the, the the worker's garb because it doesn't seem to really help that much against poison. So I'm just gonna run through here. I see something over there. It might just be a visual glitch or something. It's kind of yellowish. What is that? Yeah, I've actually never explored over here at all. No fine work ahead. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just gonna get myself poisoned. It's fine, there's almost no way to avoid it if I want to actually thoroughly explore this place. Oh, so slow. Iron flesh. Is that a gem? I'm actually gonna look at that right now, even though I am slowly dying. Oh, it's a spell. Boost absorption and resistances, but increase weight. Oh, gotcha. Right, that is a pretty classic kind of mage spell. This is painstakingly slow. Oh, it's one of those cute things again. They're so cute. Look at their huge eyes that aren't actually eyes. Their eyes are actually really tiny and creepy. Oh god. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't want the toxic fumes. I want to see if I can get somewhere where I can actually fight them easily. Oh god, there's more. Okay. This might be really bad. Depending on how many more enemies I get before I get somewhere where I can actually do something. Please let there be land somewhere. Land! Land! Oh. Are they running back? I hear them scurrying about. Okay. Tough enemy ahead. Hmm. Well, since my poison hasn't gone away yet, let's use this opportunity to collect the items over here. Wasn't there another item? I feel like there's another one I missed. Eh, it's fine.
It's a tough enemy, huh? That doesn't look so tough. That is a lot of damage it does, though. It's also very tall and creepy. Oh, likes to jump. That thing's kind of terrifying. Its limbs are far too long. Ranged battle. Damn, that's big. I'm guessing that's what the ranged battle hint was about. Take a little pot shots at that thing. Try a door. What door? Oh! These are the flames that need to be extinguished. Not those bigger flames. Okay. Cutscene. I remember seeing those signal fires in the distance, remember? A long time ago. I'm getting such an eerie vibe from this. Everything about that was just menacing. Item. Good tip. I have no idea where I actually am, in relation to where I went before. No freaking clue. I'm gonna go back. I see some items up there. Oh, I think if I go around there I can actually get up there. I'm just gonna get poisoned again. I'm not even gonna try to stop it. Let's see if there's anything hidden back here. Yes, there is. Can I backstab it? I guess not.
Visions of Misfortune. Hmm. Is it a mimic? Golden scroll. Seems familiar. What is this scroll? Is it a spell? No, it's a key. Learn sorceries of Ulisile. A golden scroll chronicling, chronicling the vast research of the Xanthus scholars. Give to a sorcerer to learn the arts of Ulisile. Oh, that goes to the guy who... I made the agreement to provide him with knowledge. In the lost land of Ulisile, the sorceries orchestrated light and were said to shine in golden hues. Now, I think these pots are the ones that make your items break. So let's not crack them. Okay, it's not a trap. Antiquated dress, gloves, and skirt. Ooh! Sounds pretty. Let's try them on. And how does it compare? Excellent magic protection. Extremely good curse protection. And much worse everything else. Dress sewn in a long-lost fashion. The elaborately embroidered, ivory-colored silk is imbued with ancient magic power. No protection is offered by this garment, as it was never intended for battle. Well, that's not true. I mean, there's the protection right there. Oh my god, look at that. I'm not exactly looking my best today. Got a bad case of bedhead, but the dress is really pretty. Look at those fine silken gloves over my sun-weathered hands that look like beef jerky. Oh yeah, I was wearing the northern trousers before, but I actually think I'm going to switch to the brigand trousers. Even though they do have very slightly less physical protection. They do have significantly better magic protection. In a couple areas. It's kind of a wash, I think, when you compare the magic to the physical protection. And it is significantly better against poison and bleed. It's pretty comparable, and it does weigh a little bit more, but I kind of want to wear it just so that everything I'm wearing is brigand. Kind of makes the uh, style more consistent. My god, those shoes look ridiculous, though. Never mind, I can't stand the shoes. We're going back. Better. Much better. It's going to be really hard to make sure I've explored everywhere around here, because this place is so big. Hmm. Oh, I've been here before, right? Didn't I go to this exact spot? Or is this just another one of these tower things? Oh, there's the main door. Okay, yeah, this is a different tower thing. I definitely did not see the main door last time I came to one of these... these things. Okay, well this swamp seems to continue on pretty much forever. So let's try to explore what I've already found. Mob enemy head, therefore try fire. Good idea.
Whoops. Nope. Bomb. Much better. Bone shard. Sweet. Can upgrade Mastus. I bet there's a secret back here. No, no secret. really want to find right now is a bonfire. There's gotta be a bonfire somewhere in this damn swamp. Maybe there's one up here. <gasps> there is! Bonfire! That thing doesn't look like it's dead. It's not dead. Prayed old wolf of Farron. I learned legion etiquette. Oh, it's a covenant. Could you tell me more about your covenant? How can I possibly consent to joining a covenant, if, a covenant if I don't even know the terms? No? I hear a sparkly sound. There's a lizard nearby. I'm gonna save that place for later. I can always get there if I just go to the bonfire. Oh my god, where does this go? This game's so freaking huge. It's overwhelming. Oh, there it is. Twinkling Titanite. Treasure ahead. Really? Okay, this one time I'm gonna take your word for it. <gasps> Holy shit! That's the first non-lying message about a secret door I've ever seen. I applaud you. Dream Chaser's Ashes. Wait, it wasn't this down here, was it? No, that's rubbish. Literally. Shrine Handmade will prepare new items. Cool. Well, now I've got two reasons to go back to the shrine. I've got a bone shard that I need to burn, and that to give to the Handmaiden. Let's go back right now. Ah. 
Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust stuff of a fool won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Tell her or say nothing? I don't see any reason not to tell her. Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world, more's the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> so... Did that actually make her sell more items, or what? I don't remember what was here before, to be honest. No new key. I still want the tower key as well. I wonder if the armor is any good compared to what I have. Hey, there's a ring. Raises maximum HP. Ooh. It's really, really cheap, too. I'll take that. Ashen one, be short. Let's see how much it raises my HP. So right now I've got 594. Which one do I care about the least? Bleed resistance, fire damage. Uh, probably bleed resistance. Right, so 594. Let's put it on. Up to 635. Okay. That's a decent amount. Yeah, 41 more hit points. That's worth it. Stepped on the slug and heard it. I'm not even gonna bother trying to attack those things. Could be some stuff that I actually really want to wear. Am I safe here? I think so, unless you see me. I think I'm okay. Uh, what was it called? It was this, right? Na yeah, nameless. Okay, it is vastly heavier. Decently better at physical protection. Decently better at magic protection. Much better bleed resistance. Much less poison frost and curse resistance, and way better poise. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. It is awfully heavy. Similar story here, I'm assuming. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. It's really not that much better. And it's much heavier. I'll check the other pieces too, though. This one's a little bit heavier. Eh. It doesn't excite me. 
I want to see what the chest piece looks like. Yeah, pretty standard looking knight armor. Nah, I think I'm good. I'm gonna get this item and then fight that thing. If I can get to it before. Before it fights me. Actually, I don't want to fight it here. I, I want to attract it and then... I don't know. Let's fight it near the fire. Oh, what the hell? Evil souls, okay. Hey, that thing barely has any health. Yeah, that thing's got like almost no health. It's either that or it burned to death on the fire? I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Oh god, I almost fell. Excuse me, make way, make way. You're not gonna let me get my souls, are you? throw a firebomb at it, see how much damage it does. If I was fighting those things in a place that wasn't a poisonous hellhole, they'd actually be really easy, I think. It's just the sludge combined with the poisoning. Oh hey, there's a million items over here. Wolf's blood sword grass. What's that? Proves a watchdog of Farron has met their duty. A leaf signifying a duty fulfilled by the watchdogs of Farron, who stand beside the old wolf to ensure the serenity of those at rest, depicts a swordgrass leaf stained with dried blood. Long ago, the swordgrass leaf quietly identified members of the Undead Legion. In the rotted forest, rest the spirits of warriors past. Their acceptance of and gratitude toward their guardians is expressed eloquently by the humble leaf. Hmm. Praise the soup. Sunlight talisman. Wait, talisman. What would that be? Where is it? It's not a spell. It's not a weapon? Oh, there it is. It's a... a catalyst. Right, that's for spellcasters. The Knight of Sunlight's personal talisman for casting miracles of the gods. The talisman bears the knight's own holy illustration, an emblem of his unwavering faith. Use of the talisman's skill fills the user with similar steadfastness. Woo. 
creepy things. Let's try to take on the big one again. I want to check something too. Okay, yeah, I was wondering if walking in this muck would increase my weight or something like that. But it doesn't. I was wondering if I could perhaps run fast if I took off like all my armor. But I don't think I could. Oh! I wasn't expecting that. Jesus! Every time I die to those things, I just keep feeling like, they're not that hard. They're really not. Oh god. I have to question the realism of that death. I feel like I was very unrealistic because I hit a bunch of slugs, which are nice and squishy, so they should ask they should act as just soft landing pads, right? Come on, Dark Souls. You can do better. I demand realistic falling physics. If you land on something squishy, you must survive. Come on. Come on. Heavy gem. That seems appropriate. Those soul things flying at me remind me of the... What are they called? Wailing souls from Doom? See another pot of Estus up there. And I heard another big creature over this way, I think. Yeah, it's right behind that tree. Okay, oh, so that's where I came down after I um, I extinguished the flame up at the top there, and I came down here, saw the big creature right there, and then turned back. Alright, let's fight it. I'm gonna bring it onto land, though, of course. Come on. Okay. Ah, oh, no Estus left. I'm kind of screwed now, but at least I killed them. I really don't know where to go. I, I'm not entirely sure where I've been and where I haven't been. I know I've been up there. I'm not sure if I've been down there that way. Um... Hmm. Well, I have no Estus left, so I can't really get poisoned anymore. 
which means I'm gonna head towards land. Run! Don't poison, don't poison, don't poison! Oh, made it. Oh, that was just this thing refilling, wasn't it? Yep. Refills every time. Well, in that case, I'm gonna have to get poisoned. That sucks. I might as well just homeward bone then. And then come back here and just avoid the big guys. these little things. So it seems like they're kind of like the dogs of the swamp, where they're relatively weak in terms of health. You know, they're, they don't take many hits to kill, but they do a lot of damage and they move around a lot. It's weird that you, they put you so close to this thing. It feels like I should be able to stab it or something, but I can't. Four moss clumps. That's good. It is going to be a pain in the ass to know when I fully explored this place. I'm going to go this way. Because I think this will loop back around to where I was before. Someone is calling. That is a number I don't recognize, so please go away. Thank you. Ain't nobody gonna interrupt my Dark Souls session. <gasps> I can run again! Oh, it feels so good. Secrets? No secrets. Secrets? Hey, I've seen that message before. I've been here. Have I been there? I don't freaking remember. I'm just gonna go this way now, because I think I've been here before. Wait a minute. Is it... This is the very... This is the very beginning! Oh my god. 
I looped all the way back to here. Well, alrighty then. This place is so confusing. I seriously... I wasn't sure where I was, but I did not think I was anywhere near close to the original point where I came into the swamp at. I got so turned around. In that case... Let's go this way. There's a message back there. What does it say? It's probably just... It's probably nothing. It's probably just like, haha, made you waste your time. I'm not gonna fall for it. Oh boy. Alright, come on. Come on. Fight me here. Extends length of spell effects. Dang it. Completely useless. A special ring given to those who are deemed fit to undertake the journey of discovery in Vinheim, home of sorcery. Apropos to the... Is that how you pronounce it? Apropos? Apropos to the dragon school, the seal depicts an everlasting dragon. A lingering dragon symbolizes the true nature of the consummate sorcerer. so strange how there's like a ring of bodies. In fact, why am I paranoid that if I walk into the center of this ring, there's not going to be a bottom and I'm going to drown? I, it's literally impossible to see beneath the surface. I, I feel like I'm going to fall down and die. Probably fine, right? Let's let's test it. Mm. Okay, it's fine. This tree really stands out. Young white branches. Crown of dusk.
feathered crown bestowed upon the Princess of Ulisile, land of ancient golden sorceries. Through the Guardian Elizabeth's blessing, this raises the power and effect of the wearer's magic, but damage suffered by magic attacks rises in tandem. Whoops. Yeah, magic protection is minus 30. I didn't even know you could go negative. What does it look like? Oh, it's pretty, sort of. Yeah, I guess it's pretty. It looks kind of broken. I don't know if it's supposed to be not symmetric. Something nasty over that way. I haven't been up here on this bridge, have I? No, I haven't. Bonfire! Ah, oh, okay, now I feel much freer to explore. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Who knows how long it might be till I find the next bonfire. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to look for the remaining two flames to extinguish to open the door.